Morning everyone, welcome to Burk Bunch Moments. We are at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Grandpa's putting Yogi to work, shucking corn. He's learning the technique of the North. Test it. Put your hand in. Stick your hand in. See if the raccoons are in there. No way. Oh, go ahead. No, Walt, well, just stick your hand in. Go ahead. <laughs> I can see. That's good, that's good. Nope. So Grandpa's lawn tractor died. He's getting a brand new one delivered right now. There it is. You can always tell you're at Grandma and Grandpa's house when a black bear walks through the backyard. We are on a hike on the yellow brick road. You can tell by the yellow truck there. The yellow brick road, and we're gonna see what's down here. We know there's eagle nests and other cool things. We'll check it out. Well, boys, this is an ancient wigwam. I don't think so. Okay, maybe not. But somebody's actually been collecting sticks here, look. Oh, it's very strong. Keep going, boys. Nature awaits. Though nature is now scared of Logan. Any nature that was anywhere within four kilometers is gone. Okay, we are coming up to the ancient train tracks laid 4,000 years ago by the original settlers of North America who carved a hole in the rock with their bare hands and their teeth. We didn't get hit by a train, because we're careful. We but we did get hit by lightning and rain. So now we have to boot it back to the car because there's this storm brewing. Well, the hike was a washout, but Dairy Queen saves the day. What'd you get? Ice cream. And a peanut buster parfait. Brother Doug. That's showing up. This is Doug, D-U-G. We are getting video of Shep catching frisbees. Cause he's frisbee king. He loves the frisbee and he's a, a heck of a jumper too. One thing Kenora has is bald eagles. So we are heading down to the river. We're gonna fly the drone across and check out a bald eagle nest, which is pretty dang cool.
So there you got some shots of bald eagle and even the nest, or at least an older nest. That one's falling down a little bit, but pretty cool here at the Winnipeg River. What is this called? Toss the Teddy? The fun never ends at Grandma and Grandpa's house, especially when it's time for the annual Toss the Teddy competition. Literally tossing a teddy. The teddy is, has its neck strangled, and Logan's trying to get it into the target. Boom. Oh! <laughs> oh! Boom! Jack's gonna try to beat his record. We have to have a throw off because Liam and Jack Not tied. Okay, that's a new record. So what's disturbing about this, Liam? Uh, well, it's wrapped around your neck, so you're really hanging him. Grandpa's a little disturbed. Oh. I'm tired just watching. The pressure. Jack, did you feel the pressure? Let's, let's, let's interview one of the contestants. How'd you feel about the pressure? <laughs> the pressure. Now, you probably had the world's best throw. It was up in the tree. But it hit the tree. Yep. So, how far do you think that would have gone? See that mountain over there? Yeah. It's all about accuracy. It's a tough game, especially for the teddy bear. The boys are about to engage in some sort of dangerous Sleeping bag fight. Pillows over our head so we don't get hurt. Set, go! Slow and slow and sweaty. <laughs> All right, Liam. Oh. Oh, How are you feeling there, Liam? Who, who do you think was victorious? Me. I lost. Liam battling the cousin. So this is what we're saving money for university for. Yep. That's it. Another crazy day at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Make sure you subscribe. Give us a like. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. All under Berg Brunch TV. Oh, by the right, way. Right, Jack? Yep. By the way, it's 1018, and that's why I'm tired. Yeah, it's bedtime for Boo Boo. For uh.